Solana season is here and there's a big reason why. For example, the Bitcoin blockchain can handle about 7 transactions a second, Ethereum can handle 30, and Solana about 65,000 a second. So it's obvious to see why there's so much hype behind Solana. But if you're stuck with the old MetaMask browser extension and you're fiddling around with a way you can actually add Solana to your MetaMask and you're scratching your head, have no fear. There's an alternative, and that is Phantom Wallet. So in this video, we're going to cover the Phantom Wallet and go over exactly what the Phantom Wallet is and how to get started using the Phantom Wallet as well as its neat features that even MetaMask doesn't have. So let's dive right in. Now let's actually take a look at the Phantom Wallet. We can go to phantom.app to actually check out the website here. Um, but first of all, let's not actually confuse this with the actual Phantom Network. That was at phantom.foundation and they have their own wallet, which is the F wallet. But what we're looking for is the Phantom Wallet with a PH. So upon first inspection, it's a crypto wallet that you'll love. Um, Phantom makes it safe and easy for you to store, send and receive stake and swap tokens on the Solana blockchain. So yeah, this wallet is specifically for Solana. So if you're new to the Solana blockchain, we can definitely use this. And if you're wondering why MetaMask doesn't work with Solana, it's because Solana is not really based on Ethereum. It's not a layer two, it's actually a layer one blockchain. So it definitely needs its own wallet. So if we go down here, we have the interface we can take a look at. And it says, turn your browser into a crypto wallet. You can actually send and receive Solana tokens and other tokens on the Solana network. I like this because you can actually collect NFTs. They have their own NFT tab. Definitely the Phantom team behind the wallet knows that NFTs are going to be very popular in the future and that people love their own NFTs. So you can actually see your own NFTs here, which the MetaMask wallet doesn't really have. So I like that feature here. They also have their own built-in uh, swap aspect of this uh, Phantom wallet where you can easily swap tokens uh, for different tokens. So it's very easy to use this wallet and we can actually take a look at more features down here. There's so many more features. Um, you can even use your ledger if you want the extra layer of security. And if you have extra Solana tokens, you can stake it as well. Um, now, of course, they have a lot of social proof. If you actually look at their Twitter, they have a ton of followers and you can even go to their about section and see that they have a big team here. And if you click on their LinkedIn of Brandon, who is a CEO and Chris, who is a CPO, we can take a look. Um, they have a lot of connections here and it looks like the CEO has been working on a lot of other projects here and was a senior engineer at Twitter and also an engineering manager at Zero X. So that is pretty cool as well. The CPO also has been around too and he has been even a CEO and founder at Wake and a product designer at Facebook. So yeah, pretty cool and their team seems pretty legit. I also like that they have a security tab and you can browse their security because what's the point of using a wallet if your crypto funds aren't even safe in the first place? So they say that they never have access to your funds or private keys. They're independently audited. They respect your privacy and they even have a bug bounty for up to $50,000 for any vulnerabilities that you might find. Um, so if we actually click on read the report here, we can see that the report is by a firm called Kudelsky Security. And this was on the 7th of May, 2021. So if you scroll down in the summary, you can see the executive summary here by Kudelsky Security and uh, the engagement analysis right here. So as a result of their work, they identified zero high, one medium, 13 low, and 23 informational findings. So these findings, you can find a very detailed report if you want to actually see the recommendations and the severity of these findings all in this report below. And I like that they make it very public. Now, if you're actually wondering what the heck is Kudelsky Security, they're actually quite known in the uh, Solana space. So they actually audited Solana right here. So you can go to this Medium document where you can find this article titled The Results of Solana Security Audit. So they did audit Solana and Solana gave its trust to Kodelsky to actually audit their own network, which is a quite a big task. And if you go to their website, kudelskysecurity.com, you can see that they have offices in based in Switzerland, London, Singapore, Taiwan, Germany, France, and the United States. So it seems like they are pretty global and they are a big company. Now going back to the Phantom website, if you click on the privacy policy tab, you can see that they have a privacy policy here and they do use some of your data and collect it. So if you're interested in reading this, definitely give it a read to see how your information is actually being used 
and uh, and to be a little bit more safer if you don't really want to opt into this privacy policy. So keep that in mind that you are giving away some of your privacy whenever you decide to use this Phantom wallet. Now to actually get started with Phantom, let's actually click on this button on the top right, add it to Chrome. Now you will need a Chrome browser to actually have the Phantom wallet or a browser that supports Chrome apps. Now we can click on this blue button right here that says add to Chrome. And once we do, we can click on add extension right here. Now you'll be redirected to this new page and you can create a new wallet. Since I don't have a Phantom wallet currently on this browser, we can click on create new wallets. You can also use a secret recovery phrase if you already have a wallet and want to import your wallets to this Phantom uh, wallet. So let's create a new one right here. So here you go, you're going to see your secret recovery phrase. Now make sure guys that you actually don't have anyone see this secret recovery phrase and you actually keep it well a secret. So yeah, make sure you have the best practices in mind. And uh, whenever you actually write it down, copy it, whatever, and save it somewhere, click on, okay, I saved it somewhere. Now we can create a password. This is the password that you're going to use to be able to unlock your wallets. Now you can either use a simple password or you can use a password application like 1Password to generate a random password so your password is more secure. In this case, I'm gonna write my own password down and then click I agree to the terms of service and save. Now there is a shortcut here you can use if you ever want to open the Phantom wallet. And finally, we are all done. Now I prefer to actually have the wallet visible so I can go to the extensions up here and actually pin the Phantom wallet right there. Now I can actually see the Phantom wallet and click on it at any time. Now to actually use the wallet, let's actually click on the Phantom wallet right here and the interface will pop up. You might be prompted to input your password, but in this case, I already logged in. So here is my newly created wallet. As you can see, I don't have any Solana. I have $0 worth of Solana. So the first thing we probably wanna do is deposit some Solana to actually pay for transactions and do stuff on the Solana network. So we can deposit Sol by clicking on this button right here that says deposit Sol and we can send it from another wallet or send it from an exchange uh, of your choice. And when we do, we have this nice QR code you can use. You can also copy your wallet address so we can deposit any funds from Solano Network to this specific wallet. If you're also using the FTX exchange, which is a really nice exchange, you can also deposit from FTX by clicking on this button right here. Now, if you go to the second tab right here, this is a really nifty tab for your NFTs. Of course, if you receive any NFTs or collectibles, you will be able to see your NFTs right here, which is a really cool feature. You can also receive collectibles by clicking on this one. Um, and then you'll also be able to click on copy to copy your address and then receive any type of NFTs. Um, and then you'll be able to see it in your wallet, which is a really cool feature right there. Now, this tab is really interesting as well. If you have any tokens, you can swap it for any other token on the Solana network. So let's say I wanna swap some Sol, I can swap it for USDT, USDC, Serum, Radium, um, any other token on this list. So that is really a nice feature if you wanted to just do a really quick trade. The next tab right here, we have our activity tab so we can check out any other transactions we've done. So that's pretty nifty to see any recent transactions and recent activities. Now, if we go to this icon right here, the gear icon, this will show more settings, the advanced settings. We can go here to see our address book. This basically allows you to add any other addresses that you normally would use. So you can actually add your own address right here on the Solana blockchain for any other address that you wanna send it to. So that makes it very convenient to quickly select an address from your address book in case you use that address a lot to trade between that address and this one on the Phantom Network. You can also go to trusted apps here and configure your trusted applications. This is really nifty because you can see which websites you actually grant access to. So let's go to one farm on the Solana network, which is mango.markets right here. Now we can click on start trading to go to the actual app. And you'll see when I actually connect my phantom wallet here, um, I'll give it permissions. So I'll click on the top right to connect my fin. Now here's the interface that actually appears. Now you can see the permissions I give it. It says that this app would like to view your wallet balance and activity and request approval for transactions. Now when I click connect, I grant it those permissions. Now when I click on the Phantom wallet right here and I go back to the same trusted apps section right here, I can see that trade.mango.markets actually has permissions right here. 
Now, if I'm done with Mango Marcus and I don't want to transact there anymore, I can actually click on revoke. Now, they don't have permissions anymore. When I actually refresh the page on Mango Markets, you can see that I have to connect again because I don't have permissions granted to Mango Markets. Now, this is very, very easy and very simple. Instead of going to an app like unrex.com to revoke your permissions, everything is done in the app. So I really like this feature that Phantom Wallet has. If you do want to change your lock screen password, here is another section. You can simply input your current password and then change it to another one of your choice. There's also an auto lock timer if you do want to lock your wallet after a certain amount of time that's been idle, which is a very nifty feature as well. You can also change your network to the main net to other test net, a dev net, or another network of your choice as well. Now, if you scroll all the way down here, you can export your private key. You can show your secret recovery phrase if you ever lose it or need to recover it for any other reason or even reset your secret recovery phrase here. If you click on the top left here on this hamburger icon, you can even connect a different wallet or add another wallet of your own. So we can do that right now. Um, I can create a new wallet, import a private key to import an existing wallet. And one of my favorite features is even you can connect your hardware wallet like a ledger for the extra layer of security. So that's basically it about the Phantom wallet. I really like this wallet because it's very easy to use and it adds some more features that even MetaMask doesn't have. So guys, what do you think about the Phantom wallet? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What are your thoughts? Please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, join our Telegram channel over at RugDoc. I'll leave a link in the description below. As always, guys, stay safe in the DeFi space and have an amazing day.